So I'm going to show you how you can add a dust overlay that's included with the um, LSP Sentimental Storyteller Collection using the LSP Light Chronicles Photoshop Action Suite. So when your image is finished, come down to the Enhancements section and click Add a Dust Overlay. It's really important that you have um, gone through your download and extracted or unzipped um, your dust files as well as the textures and the bubbles and anything else that you find is included with this set. Um, when they're extracted, it means it's it, um, zipped up, sorry, tripping over my words. It means they're kind of compressed into a little folder that you can't access. So you need to make sure they're unzipped and saved somewhere on your computer. Um, and you can find instructions in the installation guide um, for that one if you're not sure, or you can go on Google and search how to extract files um, using your operating system, whether you're Mac or Windows. So hit continue and locate the dust overlays and choose one. Let's go for randomly uh, dust three. So hit place and you will notice a black uh, box with these tiny specks of dust appears. So resize this to cover your image and hit enter. And you'll notice now it's gone transparent, but we can just see these tiny specks of dust showing through. So again, resize. And when you're happy, hit enter. And you will notice a layer mask has appeared next to it. And let's zoom in a little so we can see this dust. So here are these tiny flecks of dust. We turn it off and they're gone. Turn it on again and we can see them. Now there are places you will not want dust to show, for example we can see here it's showing on the space a little. So I'm simply going to grab a black brush and I'm going to start painting this dust off, making sure I'm on this, black, um, this white layer mask here, taking the dust off anywhere I do not want it to show. Alternately, you could make uh, the layer mask go black and paint the dust on where you'd like it to show. So before and after, such a tiny effect. See there? Before and after. So let's add another dust in um, to see what the other ones are like. I'm going to add number one. So if I hit enter twice, I'm a bit zoomed in, so I'm going to zoom out there and come edit, free transform, just to resize this dust here and hit enter. So this dust is very fine. On or off, again you can paint that one where you'd like it to show. So let's try another one. We did number one and three, so let's try number two. You can also layer these up, um, add a few if you want to, if you wanted a stronger dust effect. And again, on or off, we can paint this one off anywhere we don't want it to show. Let's add number four and five, um, go for all of them so you can see what they look like. Resize, enter, I'm going to hit enter again, and that is number four. You'll often find um, real dust particles would dance in the light beam, so that's where you'd want to add them um, if you were going for a realistic dust effect. And number five. You also don't have to have this covering your whole screen. So example, we can see the light beam is coming here. We can always kind of reshape the dust to kind of just cover the light beam area. So hit enter. And the dust is just in those light beams now. And to make it more realistic, I'm just going to paint off these edges here. You can see there the tiny dust particles off and on. Tiny twinkling dust particles for adding those final details to your image. So that's using the dust overlays that come with the LSP uh, Sentimental Storyteller Collection and using the LSP Light Chronicles Photoshop Action Set to apply them. You can get those at www.lspactions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.